Today I've been focusing on getting a life as part of a program across Greater Manchester. And we've been focusing on the support sequence and looking at what that means in practice, in schools, with health, with adult social care colleagues, when we're thinking about delivering outcomes, how we start in a different place, how we start with self-care, confidence and skills and move quickly to technology. How can we make sure we're using technology for good, technology for connection, for relationships, for doing more of what matters to you, as well as keeping safe. And then looking at what we can do about equipment and adaptations, working with friends, family and neighbours, making the most out of community assets, universal services, and then what people are entitled to, usually as a personal budget. So for me, it's felt brilliant to be back working with Martin and Zoe and thinking about transition, something that's been important to me for a very long time, but to re-engage with it and see again the power of the support sequence. So we've got another day on the 31st of March where we're developing a whole range of resources to make it easier for people to embed the support sequence in any planning. Whether you're planning with children, young people, adults or older people, how do you go from outcomes to solutions using the support sequence? How do we help practitioners make this a habit? and how do we share great stories. So wonderful to be back thinking about transition and really embracing the power of the support sequence.